The internet wants to know, will interracial relationships outside of white people be accepted within the Asian community? Woo! Let's talk about it. Yeah, this went viral on Reddit, guys. I mean, this one has the potential to be very controversial, very spicy. But we're going to do our best to give our quick thoughts, analyze the comment section. So make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. But Andrew, you know what else is spicy? Small ass sauce. It is our very own finishing oil. Very delicious. It's shipping out very soon. So you guys check it out. Instagram.com slash at small ass sauce. A lot of cool content. From Sichuan Sicily, guys. You know, Andrew, we don't shy away from these potentially sensitive topics, right? Because... If the internet asks it and a lot of people are upvoting on it, clearly a lot of people have been wondering whether they want to be the ones to vocalize it or not. Obviously, this poster, Betty Rizzo's, whose mother is a Afro-Latina from Colombia, mm -hmm. her father is Korean. That's what makes maybe possibly her feel more comfortable asking this question, right? Right, because she's basically wondering, hey, I'm Blasian, but when my parents got together, it was a rare thing, not obviously as rare as white and Asian, but uh, is a like a Blasian couple gonna be more accepted in the future amongst uh, the Asian community? Because it seems like, and she's basically implying that the Asian community as a whole more accepts the white and Asian couples than the black and Asian couples. But she's saying not just on a micro familial level, but also in media, movies, TV mm. shows, uh, K-pop music videos. Uh, if the love interest is in Asian, they're always white. So this is like her as a half Afro-Latina, half Korean, asking this question of like, how come I don't see myself be represented? So yeah, yeah of course the internet comment section went everywhere and back and we got to get into, get into it. First of all, I do want to point out, Andrew, that a lot of people were pointing out that in recent years, there have been a lot more Asian guys actually paired with uh, black women or you know what I mean? In music videos, whether it's SZA's music video, Young Manzino, all the way back to Romeo Must Die with Jet Li and Aaliyah, even though the, that romance got like removed from it. Yeah, what I've seen most recently is, yes, obviously I think there are in media a lot more Asian male, black woman pairings. And then there's also, uh, in the sports world, David, there's quite a few half Asian athletes now between the NFL, NBA, and even hockey and- Tennis, and golf. And tennis, tennis and golf. There's a lot of mixture of Asian and black in that world, right? And right. oftentimes the mother is Asian and the father's black. But either way, those are Blasian kids and they're on the main stage and they're very famous, you know? So I think that this whole Blasian coupling is actually gaining more and more like visibility in media even. Uh, so I think that's a good thing. Right. But You're I, talking about like her to more indie mm, artists like Toro yeah. Imoy. And then like you said, all the athletes, Roy yeah. Hachimura. Even like, Saweetie's oh, half Asian. Her is half Asian. Like oh, there's a lot of singers who are half Asian. Anderson Pack, A. Marie. You know what I mean? Right. So I think that these things, they are definitely increasing. And I think that obviously... Uh, you would look at white European dominant culture and that was going to mix first and the most because even white people went more to Asia. You know, I think if that amount of black people had went to Asia or colonized right. Asia or whatever, you know, business that they were doing or even traveled there for business, I do think there would have been more black and Asian couples even back then. They, I mean, over the past 400 years, you would say that European guys, they were outside. They were, they they were outside I mean, getting even, with all Even Latin women. America, obviously, there's a heavy European mix in there. And even yeah. amongst black Americans, right? Yes, exactly. So uh, I guess the elephant in the room that I would address is I just generally think that I think if the black and Asian person come from a similar culture or economic socioeconomic background, they're more likely to get together. Like, like if 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 the, the Asian girl or Asian guy meets the black partner at UCLA or Berkeley, I don't think that many Asian families would make a fuss about it. I honestly don't think so. There's gonna be some old school thinking, of course, that is gonna be a little bit more racial, but I don't think that if they come from a similar place, that everybody, that anybody's really tripping yeah, that Yeah, I far. think that ultra traditional old school thinking that was like maybe portrayed in movies in the 80s and possibly the early 90s, it is going away. Yeah. And I actually think amongst all second generation, third generation immigrants that are born in America, like them sharing the same industry and being into the same interests together and like having the same goals in life is almost gonna transcend 
whatever uh, culture their grandparents came from mm. or their parents came from in 2023, or it's moving towards that slider wise. I'm not saying it's fully there, but probably every year it inches towards that at least. Right. right. So I think that actually um, to answer her question, so one on a functional IRL level, yes, I do think that mixed Asian relationships with any a ri- race outside of white people will be get, become more normalized as are the relationships with white people already, right? Mm-hmm. It will be, but will it, we see that reflected in a Hollywood TV sense. And then we're gonna get into the mechanics of that because a lot of people are saying, well, I don't know if you're fully gonna see it because what if you still need to sell the show to a white audience? Wouldn't it make more sense to mix the Asian with the white? Again, I don't know. Well, a lot of people were talking about basically, do you think that white people will want to watch media where their look is not centered in the story? Mm. I mean, I guess, Andrew, any thoughts? Yes or no? Uh, I mean, I guess it is also humanistic not to fault them if it was 100% not to fault them. But it's like people want to watch pieces where they feel represented, right? But probably white people, they're the most accustomed to seeing themselves be represented. Like when I'm on an airplane and people are watching the media on the back of the Mm -hmm. screens, usually I see oftentimes, this is just my observation, my own, I have no stats. It's usually a white person watching a TV show or movie full of almost all white people. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I, yeah, of course, I don't think the black and Asian pairing is gonna be as commonly seen as the white and Asian pairing. I mean, even if you just look at demographics wise, uh, there's going to be technically less of it. But I think that, no, I think more and more people are not going to be afraid of it. You know I mean? Uh, there's just more, like, it's it's just going to continue to increase in real life and in media, but maybe not skyrocket. Right. Yeah. And I'm not going to lie, man. I really think people do like to watch things where, like, they're involved in it. I know a lot of nerdy Asian guys, Andrew. They watch a lot of, what's it called, StarCraft or WarCraft, like, pro gaming from Asia. I've seen that or League of Legends. A lot of my black friends, they enjoy watching a lot of uh, NBA, NFL. I know Mm -hmm. a lot of white people, they enjoy watching MLB and NHL. Mm -hmm. I mean, people watch the things that like their culture is more, I guess, heavily involved in that industry, right? Um, Somebody said, you know, I'm half white and half Asian and I 100% agree. I never realized how much privilege I have over my friends that are half Asian and half Latino or half Asian and half black. Basically a biracial Asian that is not half white, half Asian. Mm. Uh, How true do you think that is that like when you're just thinking of a mixed Asian, immediately you're thinking of Hapa half white? Yeah, I mean, I do think that's what most people immediately think of. It's true. Yeah, um, some people were saying, uh, no, there's a bunch of examples. Sandra O oh and Isaiah Washington in uh, Grey's Anatomy. And then uh, Ming-Na Wen's character with, uh, I forgot his Mackay, name. Makai Pfeiffer. Yeah, Makai yeah. Pfeiffer in ER. Yeah. So actually, they're actually, well, it's funny because, Andrew, when people were bringing up the pop cultural receipts, because I'm not like, I don't know as much pop culture as pop cultural people, mavens on Reddit. I was like, there is a lot of examples. Yeah, there is quite a few. But uh, some people were saying in K-pop videos, even if the love interest is Asian, they're always white. One time, a K-pop group flew, flew to the Philippines to film a video, and the love interest was still white. Or like white passing. You know, it, it could have been. It was so a white years. Filipino. I mean, right. a white passing Filipino, I guess, yeah. Yeah, I mean, how much of it is it that just like, I sometimes I do feel like, especially like East Asians, Andrew, they're very like hierarchical in the sense. And if, and it's not like, it's take the right and wrong out of it. But I would say like Western European people like Anglos or Scandals, they've been at the top of the hierarchy for so long. I, like, I mean, dude, and I'm just like, I'm not saying that I'm saying that I'm just yeah. going off a macro read of the global society. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to make excuses, but I will say that even Asian parents, old school thinking Asian parents can kind of be racist towards other Asians. Right. right? And, and I don't think it's racism in the worst way. They might say something. Um, but I do know in America, I believe that more and more Asians are marrying different types of Asians. Like they're right. not just marrying their own specific or ethnicity. Possibly even South Asians mixing with Southeast Asians or South Asians mixing with East Asians. Yes, yes there's even so more of that. So I think the whole world is mixing a little bit more, especially in America. Um, obviously, I wouldn't rely on K... Listen, when it comes to K-dramas and K-pop, if it's made in Korea, it's very unlikely. Like, I wouldn't bet on those shows to lead the interracial 
imagery. You know what I mean? Like right. that's going to be in Asia and it's always going to be more from an Asian perspective from Asia. But I think what you have to look at is the American made pieces here. And I think that it is increasing and Asian guys are getting more visibility. Asian women are still also getting more visibility, you know, in their coupling too. And just like, you know, it's, uh, so I think it's just going to increase. Yeah. But I really think it just depends on like what culture you want to live in too, you know? And it's like, for example, like I know Saweetie's mom was working in entertainment. I believe Saweetie's dad is a black entertainment executive. You know what I mean? But like very much in the entertainment world. You know what I mean? Like it just really depends on what like industries and sectors you want to live in. It feels like there's so many like well-developed, like I don't want to say fragmentation, but there's so many like different fishbowls within American mm -hmm. society nowadays. Some people also said, uh, shout out to Apple the App, uh, Tyga, Tiger Woods, Karuchi, uh, Kamora Lee Simmons, Cameron Bynum from the NFL. And then you've got Asian Latinos such as Enrique Iglesias, Bruno Mars, and Harry Shum Jr. So Harry Shum Jr., I believe, is full Cantonese, but he's from Costa Rica. He's just born in Costa Rica. Yeah, yeah, Bruno Mars is half Filipino and half Puerto Rican, born in Hawaii. And Enrique Iglesias is, I believe, half from Spain and half his mom is Filipino, but right. she was a Spanish Filipino. Yeah, or, I mean, you can talk about Brandon Lee, who is half, his dad's Korean, his mom is Hispanic, he's a boxer, you know? So I think, like, again, it's just, I don't know. I guess my answer is to this person wondering, uh, will they be more accepted? Uh, yes, I think so. In time, in, in, in years to come. Yeah, yeah it's just no, getting more and more. For sure, for sure. And but As I it should be. I, you know, I can understand the question, uh, especially as somebody who sh she's a K-pop fan. She's probably a fan of Asian American media as well. And she's not seeing necessarily the pairing that represents her parents as reflected. But you have to understand one thing. I say this uh, change is for sure. Like change always happens, surely. But it's almost also for sure happening very slow. Right. But it's slow and steady. And I would say that that's. Uh, the bright side of it. And I do see it changing for more uh, diversity and more inclusion of everybody and everybody just getting along with each other better, especially obviously if they have shared ideals and shared interests and things like that. So let us know what you guys think of her question in the comments section below. Will interracial dating in media, but also on a micro level, be more accepted outside of white in the Asian American community. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Please keep it civil. We encourage debate. Like we said, it was a difficult discussion, but... You know, we're willing to have it. Until next time, we're the Hot Pot Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.